Today's topic is Human Nutrition Absorption in Elementary Canal. Comment down below if you like this style of teaching and please subscribe to my channel. Now let's look at the stages of food breakdown. Now ingestion is the taking in of food through the mouth and mechanical digestion is the breakdown of food into smaller pieces without chemical change. Absorption is the movement of small food molecules and ions into the blood. Assimilation is the movement of digested food molecules into the cells of the body and ingestion is the passing out of food not being digested or absorbed as feces. This is the structure and function of the elementary canal. First is mouth, so all salivary glands. Now mechanical digestion takes place in the mouth and the teeth chew food. Amylase enzymes in saliva digest the starch into maltose. Then is esophagus and this is a tube that connects the mouth to the stomach. So it's like a pathway. Stomach, here mechanical digestion and chemical digestion takes place. Mechanically it is churning actions while the protease enzymes chemically digest the proteins and the hydrochloric acid kills the bacteria in food. Then a small intestine. Here the first section of it is called the duodenum where the food comes out of the stomach which has just been digested and the pH in the intestine is slightly alkaline which is pH 8 or 9. Then the second section of the small intestine is the ileum. Here the absorption of the digested food molecules take place and it is lined with really to increase the surface area. The large intestine water is absorbed in the colon to produce feces and the feces is stored in the rectum and removed through the anus. In the pancreas, three types of digestive enzymes are produced. First is amylase, lipase and protease. So amylase, lipase and protease. And then it also secretes enzymes in an alkaline fluid into the duodenum for the digestion so that the pH of the fluid is uh, ri rising and, which, uh, and it, the pH will be high when it comes out of the stomach. Liver produces bile to emulsify fats and the amino acids not used to make proteins broken down here produces urea. The gallbladder stores bile to release into the duodenum. The causes of diarrhea and treatment. The, the diarrhea is basically the loss of watery feces from the anus and it is severe and could also cause death. It could cause a loss of significant amounts of water and ions from the body which will result into tissues and organs stopping to work properly. It can be treated through oral rehydration therapy which means there will be a drink with a small amount of salt and sugar dissolved in it. And one infection which can be caused through diarrhea is Vibrio cholerae bacteria causing cholera. How does the Vibrio cholerae cause diarrhea? So the bacteria attaches itself to the walls of the small intestine. Then it produces oxytoxin which stimulates the cells lining the intestine to release the chloride ions from inside the cells into the lumen of the intestine. Here the chloride ions lower the uh, water potential. Then the water starts to move out of the cells into the intestine through the process of osmosis. Then the blood contains two little chloride ions and water. The absorption of food, food and water. So here movement of digested food molecules from the digestive system into blood, uh, glucose and amino acids and lymph which contains fatty acids and glycerol is the process of absorption. Here the water is absorbed into small intestine and colon but mostly the absorption takes place in the small intestine and it takes place in the ileum section of the small intestine. How is the ileum adapted for absorption? It's very long, it has a highly folded surface with millions of villi and this increases the surface area of ileum making the absorption more fast and more efficient. The adaptations of small intestine 
The earth there microvilli and the surface of the villus, which increases the surface area for faster absorption of nutrients. Then the wall of villus is one cell thick so that there is a shorter distance for the absorption to happen through the process of diffusion and active transport. It's also well supplied with network of blood capillaries which transports glucose and amino acids into the blood away from the small intestine. Then the lacteal runs through the center of the villus to transport the fatty acids and glycerol away from the small intestine into the lymph. Please subscribe to my channel if you understood this topic well. Like my video if you truly liked it and it will get saved. Share it to spread the useful information to others. Comment if you have any suggestions and clarifications or doubts. Thank you once again for watching Crazy IGCSE.